Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy breakfast with your slow cooker. It's um, going to be a breakfast casserole. You just throw all the ingredients in at night, put it into your slow cooker, keep it on warm for six to eight hours, and in the morning you'll have a nice breakfast casserole. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is spray my slow cooker with some cooking spray because it will stick. I found that out the hard way. Um, I'm also using a two quart uh, slow cooker, not my big one because it's only the two of us in the morning. If I was uh, cooking for a big family or had um, guests over, I would use the big one. But it's just the two of us, I'm just going to use the two quart slow cooker. Um, the ingredients you need will vary depending on what your tastes are. Um, I'm just using what we have on hand right now. We have some hash browns, uh, crumbled, this is real crumbled bacon. Uh, we got the big bag. We get this at uh, BJ's Wholesale Club. If you don't have a BJ's, um, it's like a Sam's Club or a Costco. I'm going to use a few slices of cheese. And you can use egg beaters or regular eggs. Um, salt and pepper. Uh, again, you can use any um, ingredients you like. Um, peppers, onions, um, some diced ham. Whatever you have left over from the night before might be good in it. Um, so just, you know, try different things. First thing I'm going to do is throw in some hash browns, just at the very bottom, enough to have a coating on the bottom. And then I'm going to put in some crumbled bacon, not a lot, just a little bit. Um, I'm going to put in a slice of cheese over that. You can use any kind of cheese, this is just regular American cheese. And I'm going to use a little bit of egg beaters on this. This is the Southwestern egg beaters. It has um, like peppers in it and stuff. I'm just gonna pour a little bit over that. And you're gonna wanna repeat this. This is in layers, so you're gonna wanna repeat this as many layers as you want it to be. So I'm gonna start again with the hash browns. Take another layer of the hash browns. You can see what that looks like. Just more hash browns. A little bit more crumbled bacon. Um, a little bit more cheese. Just gonna use half a slice this time. Another slice of cheese. And then this time I'm gonna, um, I have um, an egg mixture here. It's just um, two, four, it's four egg whites and two egg yolks. So I'm gonna Pour a little bit of that over it, just enough to coat it. And I add a little salt and pepper. I'm going to do another layer of the hash browns. Um, you can use sausage, um, ham. You can use so many different things with this. Another slice of cheese. And the rest of my egg yolks. I'm actually going to add just a little bit of the egg beaters on top of that. Make sure it's good in. I found out if you um, don't put some something wet at the bottom, like the egg, let it seep through. Um, if you just wait till, if you just layer everything and then put the eggs on top, um, it'll be dry in the morning. So what I, that's why I put the eggs in between each layer. And that is what it looks like. And I think at, on the very top, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the hash browns. I'll give it a nice crust when it's all done. And, and that's what I have. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this, I'm going to cover it and put it in the, in the fridge. And tonight before we go to bed, I'm just going to stick it in the crock, set it on warm, and let it cook for about six to eight hours. And then when we get up in the morning, breakfast will be ready, it'll be hot, it'll be delicious. Um, I made it this morning, or last night, and this is what it looked like. 
and it was delicious. So if you like breakfast casseroles, I think you should try this recipe. You'll probably like it. Good luck.